Today they are having a unified doubles tournament, which just basically means you have an athlete with intellectual disability playing with an athlete without intellectual disability. Again, Special Olympics, Abilities Tennis, the whole goal is to have fun. It's not as much about winning or losing, although the athletes do care, very much so, but the sportsmanship is phenomenal, which I think you all will notice tonight. The goal of it is that the athlete with disabilities is to make the winning or the losing shot. The athlete without disabilities is supposed to be part of the game, not hit the winning shot, hopefully not hit the losing shot, but be part of the game, not overtake the game. And that's exactly what all the players that are unified do. My son, lo he loves unified doubles. Because he likes having us together on the court. He's used to having me as a coach in singles, and you only get to talk to him, you know, like every other game or whatever. But we really like the communication we have on the court about what we're doing and why we're doing what we're doing and playing together. So he really likes that, um, that communication, that time together on the court. But unified is, I think it's a step up for the athletes because they love the opportunity to play because not all athletes get the opportunity to play with folks that don't have disabilities. Okay, so this is a real opportunity for them to be able to show off their skills. The difference between a unified match and a non-unified match is the unified match flows better only because the player without disabilities will keep score, will help, will keep positioning, will keep the game going. Even some of our better players have difficulty with scoring, you know, keeping the thought. I mean, I, I have people I play with have difficulty with scoring, so there's that too.